Hey everybody, this is the Mary <laughs> this is the Mary Junkies podcast. Remember E3? I know I do too, but it ain't here anymore. But I don't. we got State to Play, the <laughs> Summer Game Fest, and the Xbox Showcase. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about them today on the Mary Me Junkies podcast. And we're back. <coughs> what's this? Uh, what, what's this thing you speak of? E three. Uh, I vaguely <laughs> remember. I vaguely remember yeah. something like that. Anyone above, I guess, sixteen years old will remember E three. So that thing died out, dog. Like we called that shit. At the we minute did. the pandemic hit, we like E three going. E three, but die. Ain't, ain't no need for it no more. Because it was like after everyone was like, "Well, we could do our own showcase." Right, the cocaine and hookers in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but now we have presentations like Summer Game Fest, State of Play, and this Xbox showcase. We're gonna be talking about them. And but you of course, saw, and you know, Nintendo got something cooking coming up too. They're not gonna let everybody else just have all the fun. But of course, before we get into all of that, let's do our introductions, folks. Of course, you know me, Corey Salty True Floyd. Then over here, I've got the boss. You know me, Corey Salty Floyd, True Floyd. No. No? Okay. Hey, y'all, it's your favorite podcaster, favorite podcaster, a.k.a. Common Boss, a.k.a. Mr. Lord Otaka, a.k.a. Mr. A.k.a. Uh, this, this Summer Games Fest has been has been cooking so far. And of course, over here, the number two, the little stinker, Demon Engine. You guys, he yeah, want to show off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take a step yeah. back. Do a little spin for, for the audience. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Why are you all black? Don't got to close on? <laughs> yes, I got clothes on. Is this what we're doing? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's, for, it's for the ladies. You know, we got we got a female audience too. They just don't want to look at your pretty face all day, Corey. Far from pretty. The man got the e boy text going down his face and everything, and the devil eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Show off, King. Unless they fucking degenerates. That, that's what that's what my envy's for. Listen, though, the people who watch our podcast are mostly degenerates. Most of our podcast is the mermaid junkies. The junkies. Not as much as degenerates as these women out here reading smut in public. Just out here <coughs> in public. It's it's disgusting. It truly is. Yo, my uh, my TikTok feed, hell, my Instagram feed has been filling up with that lately too. Cause, cause both this just generation <coughs> motherfuckers have realized that oh, oh, that's what those are. These whores out here so, fucking gooning in public, just watching so the lady reading who, porn in public. Who's reading smut in public? I I have wrote a book. An actual legit book that has some of that stuff in there. So y'all hit me down in the comments, and I'll give y'all the link. It's it's a really good book too. It, it's a it's a, uh I'm not gonna promote it right now, but hit me up. I got you. Some of the scenes in those books, top porn, and if it had some type of audio visual to it, you know they wouldn't be fucking reading that shit in public. I mean, we working on it right now. Getting a uh, getting an audio artist, a, a voiceover artist for the book. So you know, like, no, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Plowing ahead. So over, <laughs> so over the last weekend, uh, there was a 
good array of video game presentations. Uh, and first, we're going to talk about Sony State of Play, correct? Which was lackluster. I mean, mm -hmm. let's just be honest. It was, it, it was. The best thing they showed to me was, was it Concord? Yes, and that itself was... It looked... It looked very... Dry. Yeah! Like... I... It I looks like I, a video game by like, committee. Like it, it just looked. It looks fun, but at the same time, it just, it just looks dry, and I don't know how to like properly describe it. I think I've just been spoiled by all the pretty shapes and colors, <laughs> and, like Destiny and Overwatch. But it looks dry for some reason, especially the fuck. I know Star why it looks dry. Dude. It looks a no emotion in his face when he spoke. Exactly. <laughs> hey, hey, demon, let uh, let, let uh, Nico win. All right. And 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 it's, it's hard, Cloud. We talked about this last week with Jolly Yellow Nerd, right? But all of these shooters now just looks like. A different skin of uh, Overwatch. That's that's an interesting point. But first, hey Queen Eek. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. How y'all doing? What's up, Queen Eek? Hey Queen. <laughs> Where uh, just just in case you weren't hip, we're talking about the recent game presentation, Summer Games Fest, Ubisoft yeah. uh, State of Play. Yeah, I've been I've been listening, although it didn't sound like that's what y'all was talking about when I first logged on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I caught I caught the tail end of whatever the fuck y'all were talking about. <laughs> that guy, and I was but like, "Whoa!" It's all, it, it's all demon engine fault, Nico. It's all demon engine fault. Sure. Fuck, I do. I blame yeah. all of y'all for that. And how come demon when he told you when you told him to let me in? Why you why you say it like that? You just like okay. <laughs> Like runs <laughs> over now, guys. <laughs> Mom's here. <laughs> like, <God damn. laughs> not, not mom. Am I a fun sucker? No. No. Oh, where's your no. Where, Where's your Abby at, Nico? I I know you got one. What you mean? You can't like uh, like Demon. Yeah. Oh, you talking about that? Oh, um, shit. I don't <laughs> have that connected. Like, I still gotta replace the batteries on my controller. Oh, oh. shit. Oh, okay. Next yeah, time, well, next, I don't, next I don't time, know we'll how be to I'll um, I'll have to bring mine up or whatever. Um, wait, wait a minute. Oh, see, this is something we're gonna have to talk about all stream. We'll we'll talk right here. Cause, okay. Because I'm realizing where you are, and I'm yeah. yeah mm hmm. One of these things are not like the other. Right. Anywho, <laughs> right. I am not. I am not down there with near you. Wish I was. I wish I was. <laughs> but um what but back to what you were saying Summerfest but, uh, yeah uh, well it's going yeah, to get a play right now and play. can't say I watched that one I'm pretty sure I've slept through that although there are well, a lot of Xbox you games were, that I'm excited you weren't the only one who slept through it, it and back to what you were this saying about Summerfest. Overwatch the problem is Overwatch is um, Overwatch has a lot of flaws and oh no, Overwatch has definitely a lot of flaws and I need these I need more of these games like this to come out for like so like, Overwatch can get the shit, shit together. Yeah, they're like oh shit, we actually have come to because we we all know Team Fortress Two isn't going to ever come the fuck out on consoles. But right now, Marvel's <laughs> Rivals is looking real good. Marvel's Rivals is looking real good. But I'm talking about shit. that. How Marvel saying. Rivals looks like Overwatch. I well, mean, that's, that's kind of the point. That was literally the point when they conceived it. Because they were like, listen, we want to do Overwatch, but with Marvel characters, but make it better. <laughs> and they were you just like, they succeeded, Corey? From all the footage I watched, uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm getting my camera right. What about you, I, 
Like the Overwatch uh, Overlord. I'm going to say it like this. The main reason I play Overwatch because it's a game that allows me to be a bully in. If there's more games that come out like that, that is more interesting, and I don't feel like I have to deal with the same tired ass mechanics, then I fucking welcome it. Mm. Overwatch is just my default. If I want to be a bully, do you want to bully people or do you want to bully monsters? That's how that chart goes. I feel like I feel like uh, Marvel's version could have been like way better because these characters have like a deep history of their abilities, skills, and powers. I mean, they do, but guess what? Uh, guess what? Guess what? Marvel has that fucking Overwatch doesn't. That same what? shit, a bunch of lore, videos, movies, and shit. If you want to learn about the characters, you can. You can do shit. It already has the shit base that Overwatch should have been doing. So it could technically go without that and focus solely on its PvP experience and making that as much as polished as possible. I see um, the one thing Concord has that uh, over Overwatch is actually has a, a storyline to it. Mm-hmm. Like when you lie back in, it, it'll be a story that'll play around around the characters. I think that's there. I just hope is the story like, isn't as like... dry as the color scheme. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry, it's yeah. just so dry. No, no, it's, <laughs> no, like the like the colors, the colors felt like you were in a cubicle area. Like these are the colors that are oh, like are pale, loud. flat. Like I didn't own. clipped into the yeah. fucking back rooms. Like the yeah, well, the, well, I remember when Overwatch Two came out. It was very vibrant, very bright. A lot of it's the still characters vibrant and bright. Really bright. Yeah. So what y'all talking about? The color scheme is just no. We're talking about, about Concord. 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 Mm. This game what? Concord that was at State of Play. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, so you ain't, you do missed it, but you ain't missed nothing, you guys. Mm. Gotcha. Now, Summer Game Fest that like that that had that had some interesting stuff going. Yeah, yeah. Killer uh, B game. Right. I mean, they they don't had, want to ask for it. They, they, they had more than Killer B, but yeah. I know what I'm saying. No one asked for it. But I want it. <laughs> I remember yeah. the movie. I my dumb ass brain back then. Fucking loved it. For, uh, Blumhouse Games. Really? Yeah. Blumhouse opened up a gaming division? Yeah, yeah the first slate mm-hmm. of indie indie horror games. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, kind of... No, I'll... you definitely might get scared. Like, shit, they might scare the piss out of you. Hey, listen. That, that that was was with it. Wait, y'all talking at the same time. I can't. Go ahead, Corey, what you say? I was like, hey, reaction reaction YouTubers are built off that scared stuff. True. What about you? What'd you say, Ryan? I said that the trailer looked a little weird. I don't know if it was one trailer or multiple it different was three. Okay, because the, the the animation style kept uh like flip flopping. So I wasn't sure if they was it like was changing up the animation games. style within the game or was they showing on different games. But yeah, Blumhouse got his own uh, gaming studio. Shout out to uh, Robert Rodriguez. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, that's that's that's, that's uh, Jason Blum. Jason, okay. Robert Rodriguez is Troublemaker Studios. Yes. Okay. And they haven't really been active in years. He's cooking up something. Cause he, I wonder if he, he decides he, to he also, a next he's also working. He's also working on. He also does work on these Star Wars shows. Mm. But uh, next generation spy kids. Uh, it's not a horrible idea. What else piqued your uh, interest at uh, Summer Game Fest? Um, it was like this mech. It was like this mech game, Mecha Break. Mecha Break, it, it looks like it took Armor, Core, and Gundam and just was like, all right, let's do this a lot more fast-paced. 
Cause it looked like it looks like aerial battles, ground battles. It's like it's it's just gonna be on. Uh, the they're supposed to start a beta in August. So <coughs> got uh, I'm gonna try and keep an eye out for that. They show uh, the, the the new Monster Hunter game. <laughs> right. We lost Nico. Ah. But um, oh, there's another P- Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, game coming. Uh, how, like did you, old how did you like that, yo? It, um, the uh, the retro arcade uh, style that, that, that they're going for with that. Uh, it looks it looks like it's gonna be fun. It just doesn't look like it'll be difficult. Which game? Have you seen the um the uh, Power Rangers? Trailer, Nico. Say that again. Have you seen the uh, Power Rangers trailer? The live action. No, no there's a there's a like an arcade style. Power? Yeah, it's like an arcade style beat 'em up based off the '90s Power Rangers. No, well, I seen that one. I wasn't got, that big of a fan of Power Rangers. You got to roll like for it. I got to roll like a retro feel to it. Mm-hmm. I'm down for it. Not a fan. We've never really. Been Sometimes nostalgia is good. Other times, I thought they were cool, but they would always get their asses whipped, and it never made sense to me. Because like <laughs> the way they would like get hit or whatever, and sparks would fly, and the way they would like be so dramatic, you know what I mean? And as they got hit and they got their ass whooped, it just didn't make a lot of sense to me. So eventually, it just kind of became a thing where it was just like, yeah, this is stupid. The, my fondest memory of Power Rangers was when Tommy showed up. And beat they ass out the Megazord. That shit. Never was, forget. Uh, never forget that. RFP. RFP. Did you? How you? <laughs> uh, how you? Uh, how you run you up into up in somebody's crib? And you get your ass whipped out. Beat the everybody's ass. Then throw them the fuck out. That. I mean, these niggas used to skip school to whoop motherfuckers' ass. <laughs> So like, you think you'd be proficient in it, but this one yeah. nigga came here and said, "Nah, absolutely, you were they getting thought, jumped. They, they Y'all they niggas are getting jumped by me and me alone." <laughs> yeah, they thought they was big and bad. They they used to skip school and jump people, and then that nigga <laughs> was like, "Absolutely, the fuck not." That's not exactly not. what happened. They used to skip school and jump people. <laughs> sounds you know, like JJ like, K. For, that why. sounds like early days J J K to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Obligations. <laughs> now nah, let's go run and this nigga straight. Then that one nigga showed up and jumped in yeah. they zord. We going back to school and beat them outside the zord, and then beat them on the ground. How long did it take them to get back in the zord at that point? After that, though, I don't remember. But if I was done, I'd have been traumatized. I imagine it was at least a few episodes before you saw the zord again. It was. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it had to recover. Zor uh, is like, why isn't it responding? I'm still disappointed in you, fucks. <laughs> Pretty much, like how you do this? You were set up for success. Um, right. Another another game they announced during Summer Game Fest. Now I like how they did make like any official statements, but they were like. Yes, we are still working on the next skate game. Skate is I, I, I knew you were going to say it, yo. And they were like, they were like, here's what we have. And I, and I like how the crowd was just like, all right, we like it. We're not going to complain for now. For now. For now. Until they, until they, never mind, we're going to shelve it again. Okay. Skate was one of my favorite games, yo, growing up. At that point, the studio may get burned down. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. That, I, would say. I wouldn't. I wouldn't disappoint us again. I think <laughs> they're. I think. I think they're trying to figure out how to make skate, and also make it more profitable. Because mind you, the last skate really wasn't a live service game per se. Right now, we in that era. But it's going to be. So they're gonna they're gonna they they're trying to they're trying to figure ways. 
Just, just don't overdo it. Don't make it, don't make it too much pop culture. <laughs> don't Fortnite the situation. I mean, you don't got the funds to Fortnite the situation, but don't Fortnite. Yeah, because them life is expensive as shit. <laughs> but the, like, you ain't got Fortnite money. <laughs> yeah, no, you definitely ain't got Fortnite money. I mean, most of them don't have Fortnite money. I'm about to say, not many studios got Fortnite money right now. Uh. Rockstar, I mean, Take Two Interactive, they got they got it for that money, but not many studios right now. But I'm like, and we've seen it across the game industry. Studios who who even have hits is shutting down. So, Mm-mm-mm. so like, if you ain't got like big backing, like Microsoft money, then yeah. Yeah, you gotta have. Yeah, you gotta have that Microsoft. Even money. if you, even if you get Microsoft money, yeah, 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 Microsoft yeah. still might say no. Mm-mm. Like the uh, what was that? Uh, what was that, Corey? That, high uh, Fire Rush. No, not High Fire Rush. The uh, the uh, Vampire Game. Masquerade. Uh, uh, the Masquerade. No, Redfall. Oh God, yeah. Redfall. Redfall. Uh, such a Redfall. The only good thing that came out of Redfall was the logo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lo- lo- logo was tough. Logo was tough. Yeah, none but the game though. But that logo was on point. <laughs> yeah, the logo was on point. Yeah, I, I, would... I know. I, I know that's that, yeah. It's advertising world's funny, but let now let's go. Let let let's let let's get into the surprise presentation because I didn't expect Xbox to come out like that. And they came out swinging. I was just like, did you say this is bat swinging or dick swinging? uh, (laughs) Swinging. I don't know, but there was was a lot of swinging. swinging. So that sounds like dick swinging. They swinging they dick around. Yeah, it was dick swinging. It was definitely, it was definitely big dick energy, big dick swinging coming out that young because they, they laid they shit on PlayStation table and they couldn't. And said, do something. And they couldn't. All, all I gotta say, let's hope that it wasn't all for not. It better be good with the amount of studios getting shut down. First thing, of course, they hit us with the Call of Duty Black Ops Six, which. Again, from the, they from get the four and five. Where, when the fuck did four, five, like three, four, and five come out? Because I only remember Black Ops two. Yeah, you missed a lot. You were you were busy. You were really? busy. You you was you was busy getting life. I was getting life. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's about right. Oh, uh, the last one. The last one was like four hours. So I don't even think you should count that as a game. <laughs> Wait, was that what, the one for the Chris fucking... Yard was talking about? No, B- Black Ops Five wasn't even a. Uh, it was. It didn't even have a story mode. It was just a multiplayer game. Yeah, that was Black Ops Five. I remember that. Honestly, nah. They they still should have did this shit. If they could just release just the multiplayer game, then the motherfuckers that do Blackout, Black Ops. Specifically them, I don't care about the other ones. Need to do the full zombie collection. Thank you. I was gonna say that to be a thing. drop the multiplayer, drop the full zombie. Drop us a full I want one that just has all the zombies. I want it for one whole consecutive game. Y'all got the funds, y'all got the time too. Y'all only work on fucking y'all fucking <laughs> Black Ops is Treyarch, and that shit only releases once every three fucking years. Right. So y'all got the time uh, to do that shit. But to me, shout out, shout out to Playground Studios. And they are releasing Fable. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw I saw that and I was like, oh shit. Like I I I, I had knew it by just looking at everything. And I was like, hold on. This is what I think it is. Fable and Gear Six alone makes you want to get an Xbox. I don't really care about anything else. Gears of War. No, uh, yeah, Gears of War. You know what's crazy about Gears of War for me? Mm. I have only attempted because I didn't actually like. I played a little bit, but it didn't get very far. 
because, and this was Gears of War 3 on Xbox oh, 360 God. that I played. The reason why I didn't get very far in that game is because for me, like, mind you, I had been playing video games my whole life, but I'd never played, I had never played a game like that before. You know right. what I'm saying? Where it's like a lot of shit going all on, on and shit. I'm used to Sims and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm used to like simulation games and shit. So, or survival simulation, shit like that, you know, where I have mostly control of most things or RPGs. Right. So, Playing Gears of War, it seemed like a really, really good story, but I could never figure out who the fuck was who. So I kept shooting niggas that was on my team in the face and wondering why these niggas ain't going down. I was like, why? Die, bitch. And then I realized, oh, that, oh, he's on my, oh. Mm. She was trying to go on a genocide. Where, where are the was, humans? Well, here's the thing. They all wear it looked like they all wearing the same fucking soup shit. So I'm shooting everything moving them towards me. God damn it. Everything is, is humans and is lizards. Next time if you if, if you play Gear Six, they shoot at the lizard people. Well, motherfuckers is like you couldn't tell with the red and versus the blue. And I'm like, nigga, do you know how fucking small that shit looks when niggas are running? <laughs> I, I, I'm shooting at whatever's running at me. I love that she doesn't. She didn't even tap into the horror element of gears. <laughs> like, didn't it, make it that far. Didn't make it that it, far. Is it a horror element, really? I mean, it's supposed to, but yes, it really is. <laughs> it really. What was some the horror of, element? Some of the cre uh, some of the creatures you come across in this game are terrifying. As, as a matter of fact, all right, Brian, think about that. But the very first ad for game for Gears of War, where they right. played Mad World, right? And they had that creature in the shadow when all you had was a chain gun saw. Nigga, that's horror. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's me, but a lot of the horror games like that, Dead Space, I ain't, I ain't find that shit creepy. But like the horror games, when you're dealing with like little little white feel, kids and goats, like I feel like it's because we've kind of grown up desensitized to a lot of that shit. But I feel like you know what is here, this nigga, bad credit, and you know <laughs> like fucking foreclosures. <laughs> yes, that would that would terrify me. I don't know. Like I just feel like like real advice and no shit is terrifying. I would oh, be like the things in horror games that scare me the most deformed shit, especially if it's childlike. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Something in the shadows and only also only having the ability to flight and not fight. Mm. Fuck you mean I gotta just run. Nah, my man, there is no bitch. I was, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna fucking swing on this bitch first, damn it. But no, I gotta sit there and run all the time. That's gonna make me panic. Fuck that. So you so you and Alien Isolation never got along, huh? Mm-mm. And then you just play a game like that, engine, that you that all you could do was run and hide. And fucking outlast. Oh yeah. No, yeah, outlast, outlast no. one and two, which is up on our uh, YouTube right now. Alien Isolation is worse. You want to know why Alien Isolation is worse? Because when they... And the like button if you like this video. Also, just a little reminder. Sorry. Thank you, Nico. Alien Isolation was the worst because the way they pro programmed the, the Xenomorph and if you were wearing a headset like you were streaming the game... The xenomorph could hear you on the microphone. Holy shit. See, I realize how quiet I am when by myself. Mm -hmm. So that wouldn't have an effect on me. Oh, no, I'd be screaming the whole time. So mm -mm. Oh, I, I wouldn't be able to do that. Until something <laughs> actually spooked me, would be the sound that I made. So, so, I would so, so, no, be quiet. I'd be sitting there whispering, like, what the fuck? Like, like, the until, whole time, so nope. Until Nico f figures out, like, wait a minute. Can this nigga hear? 
<laughs> and all I had sat down here. You know, some crazy ass noise and sound and <laughs> shit. And I already. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, so D- Doom, Dark Ages. Yo, oh, that yeah. better come out on PC. Yo, that Joe. <laughs> that better come out. I'm not getting an Xbox. Yo, that. that better come out on PC. That Joe was metal as fuck. <laughs> My man had a machine gun that you grounded up the bones, and that was the ammunition. Hey, he did what you had to do. He had a chainsaw shield. And you do what you gotta do. <laughs> Take yourself at all costs. And it was just like, how do we make Doom Slayer cooler? Mm-hmm. Put an animal pelt on his back like a cape. Boss. Now you got me wondering. Fuck he killed for that. <laughs> and then he's like riding a fucking like yo. I appreciate the way Doom came back and was just like, Yeah, remember all that complicated story shit? No, nah, we ain't doing that. Shoot it in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, was it a good story though? At least it was, but then it also, but then the mechanics didn't make sense because it was mm-hmm. like, okay, we're in the twenty second century on a space station studying a portal to hell. Why mm-hmm. in this century do you have guns that don't have flashlights attached to them? So I have to constantly switch between a flashlight and a gun. Yeah, that is kind of a lot. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like how, how does that work? Well, I feel like that's also partly because, you know, it, dudes, this was a totally dude story and put together by a bunch of dudes. And there's nothing wrong with that. But just remember, dudes also invented the cup in sports. And it took them 100 years later. To invent the helmet to prevent CTE. So let's just. You but know. you gotta protect the boys first. <laughs> you gotta protect the boys first. Apparently. Of course, Apparently. look, look, it's gonna it's gonna take us a bit to find out that CTE is a thing. It can't be healed with reverse curse technique. But you know, it's like, just as not, sensitive. They didn't, have, they, they didn't have that switch between a fucking flashlight and a gun. There you go. You know what also what, is sensitive? But that game and, is in the 23rd century. Easily damaged. They had, they had no idea what that was going to look like, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. What you, know you know what also is oh, nice just place. as sensitive as the it brain and the easily oh, At least oh, the good. skull protects it. Yeah, you definitely should know. True, the skull does protect it. That's fair. <laughs> And that's what they thought. <laughs> a lot of them, that's that's what a lot of them really thought, though. Hell yeah. These dangle outside the body and are unprotected. <laughs> Mama said I'm stupid, so that must mean I got a thick skull. So let's let's put a cup <laughs> right here. Oh, <laughs> and worry about the rest later. And I feel like that's the same approach they took with this. That's all. Yeah. Uh, I was just like, oh man, dude. I guess I don't know. Maybe like I, I'm like I said. I'm guessing that maybe they just didn't realize what the fuck that was going to look like in the future. I don't know. That that is strange. But I guess that's is. part of the way it was supposed to make you feel like uneasy. Yeah. Choose between the two, I guess. But it's like, bitch, we're in the future. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like. Yeah. If you gonna set it in that time, yeah, time. yeah I, I feel you on that. But uh, another game that definitely looked amazing, South of Midnight. It had the, it looks like it has like some deep Louisiana, folk, yeah. uh, Like, I love the art style. Yeah. Uh, Spider Man. Yeah. 
magical, magical, like magical they spider. Call it, no, no, no. They call it hand painted uh, art style. I think. Can paint. Okay, hand I see. Painted. Okay, hand painted. Hand Not painted. can hand painted. Because it does look hand painted. Um, I I definitely like the hand painted art style. It looks uh, like impressionism a little bit. Yeah, it it gives me. It's very reminiscent of like the Spider Verse in some ways of how they kind of did the Spider Verse. Um, okay. I like that. Or or even like I'm gonna say I'm gonna go as far as to say the Van Gogh movie. I gotta check that out. What's I talking about? What game is that? We're talking about South of Midnight. South of Midnight. Um, if you guys are interested or for you uh art nerds out there, uh you can check out the Vincent Van Gogh movie. Um it was like a little like documentary thing where they were trying to do like hand painted everything so like all of these things are i do believe they are they were practically done but also fused with some of his actual paintings and things and basically like bringing a lot of his paintings to life it was really interesting to watch um something i saw in one of my art history classes um but yeah it's very hand painted really cool uh you know definitely be sure to check that out um but I mean, would you play it, Corey? Yeah, I'm. It. it, it I'm very curious. I'm What's very, the uh, for that one? I think I, I think I missed that trailer. South of Midnight. South yeah. of Midnight. No, what's very, it, what was it about? No, it but, looks. Uh, you got a black main character. Looks like a black main character with her big giant. Uh, what kind of fish is he? Catfish. Well, there you go. Yeah, it was a. She's looking for her mom, I'm guessing. Okay, I think I, I think I did see that. I think I did see that. And they were trying to avoid this large gator. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that's coming out on Xbox. I think it's coming all coming out on all systems, but I think, yeah, I think uh, that's an everywhere thing. Mm-hmm. And then I I like how they did both of these other game presentations back to back. Because as this was mystical, this one was more in your face, in your face, badass. Flintlock. Flintlock look good. <laughs> Flintlock, the siege, of, the siege of dawn. I'm just like, okay, we need, we need a new hack and slasher. Yeah, I like Flintlock. Flintlock look really good. They didn't t- like. They didn't get much in story, but. At least they showed me a decent amount of action, so hey, I'm all for it. Now, um, they announced a did they they announced a update for Diablo? So yeah, uh, yeah I heard about that. I I saw it. It's it's basically, the, the new class is Spiritborn. Huh. Okay. Um, like. Yeah, no, fuck you. I'm not paying forty dollars for that. <laughs> and that's just how I feel. Um, so, so, so it's not a full game. It's just DLC. Yeah, yeah, it's DLC. It's just fucking DLC, and it's not even really worth it because it's another class. But it's like, bitch, that sounds like a druid. Right. Like, why are you playing? Speaking of, I don't wait two. Hey, drop DLC. Uh, Night Springs. Oh yeah. Three three different stories with three di- with, with three new characters mm. for you for you horror fans out there. I, you know uh, what? Wait, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. Which, which, which game? I, I don't Alan wait. Wake too. I, I oh wait yeah, yeah. Exactly. And then the um the life is strange. Life is strange is good. That was interesting. Life is strange I is good. Even played the first one yet? I think you should. I think you'll like Life is Strange. I played both of them. Solid storytelling, definitely. <laughs> Any horror think, elements or anything I should be aware of? Uh, no, some, some, some jump scares, but but nothing like really horror. Oh, don't, it, okay. it, it, don't you're like dealing jump with scares. humans for the most part. <laughs> don't like jump scares. Mm-mm. It ain't no monsters. I'm gonna say that there's no monsters. So only only humans. Do yeah, with that joke humans, what you will. Humans are capable of. You know what? Yeah. 
Uh, but it's y'all do fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, New Dragon Age. I was about to say, King up in the Ubisoft, and not mm-hmm. only New Dragon Age, twenty minutes of gameplay. Right, and we also and we all. Uh, I mean, Dragon I mean, Age has always been a solid series. To be they, honest, I feel yeah, like this is a yeah. this is something favorite. that should have came out a while ago. Yeah. At this point, it's one of my favorites. They uh they changed the name from uh the Dread Wolf, which was. A fire ass name to the right. bell. So wait, it's not two different projects. No, no, no. they changed the name from Dreadwolf to to, to, to Bell Guard. Boo. Yeah, agreed. You do you know why I think that? Because I think they were just trying to focus on make it make it about Solus, and I don't think it's about Solus no more. I don't think Solus is the main character. This is the main villain. Mm. I think they like cut cut some of his roles inside the game. All right, sorry. Mm-hmm. You're talking about Dragon Age. Um, yeah, like, and it's twenty minutes of gameplay, and you get to see uh, Varric and Solus again. And Solus was my favorite character, was my favorite person to 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 run with, and in, uh, in the last Dragon Age. So, so I'm like Varric. I'm hurt. That the homie turned into the turn out to be the villain. Yeah, mm, that did hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's that that Solus was the villain. Solus was the reason this happened. He wasn't a villain, but he's a reason it happened in the last mm-hmm. Dragon Age. And it was just like I should have shot you. Yep. <laughs> you know what, after Inquisition, <laughs> or is there any other games after Inquisition? Uh, no, Inquisition. Solus was the the uh, the the ball elf that you uh that you meet. Mm, I never I finished think. that game, but y'all uh, already know there's spiders in that game. I think I it's time. Like that. A lot of so spiders. Once again, stand before the Elden Throne. Uh, Sorry, was I was quiet because fucking they've just released uh the Journey So Far trailer to Elden Ring before Shadow uh, of the Tree pops up. Uh, of course. And looks like one of the moves says is in that bitch is just hands. Yeah, they release like a monk set or something like that. Ooh, Elden Ring is a gorgeous game. I hope oh, yeah. it is too. gorgeous and disgusting at the yeah. same time. Yeah, because it's yeah. really pretty, but that also translates to all the disgusting bits being very detailed. And just like, yep. I feel oh, like shit. I feel like Dragonborn, not Dra- no, Dragon, not Age. no, um, Blood Rain, Blo- uh, is that the right one? What is the know. other soul? Bloodborne. Thank you. Yeah. Damn, I knew it was <laughs> Bloodborne. I think is the only one that kind of tops it when it comes to the gag factor on some of these creatures. Bloodborne made me rage quit. I just stopped playing that fucking game. Oh, and for the same reason that I haven't been been Elden Ring neither. This is why I don't play certain games. Like I play games to get high blood pressure. At least with Elden Ring, you can attempt it to make it. Like up, this bosses kick your ass. This areas kick your ass. Let me summon the homie real quick. You can turn this into an episode of JJK. Just know that some of these niggas is on suking the timing. So you may want to really think your strategy before you do that. Because you might just get see one homie get paid, packed up, that <laughs> another homie thrown directly at you before just the nigga shadow stepping to finish you both off. So you got to play this shit correctly. And like when you come out the cave, you meet a fucking boss. This nigga just roaming around the fields, way to annihilate anything moving. And it ain't like he easy. He ain't like, all right, let me get this 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 quick. Yeah, but double. you can walk. You can walk around him. Yeah, I mean you can avoid. I'm gonna say if you haven't played Elder Run, like if you start the game, you can avoid it's, it's, it's just it's like it's just like run. customary. It's a customary to go fight that nigga though. Really isn't. Just know you're gonna get packed up. 
your clothes is gonna get folded with you in them if you haven't played a game before. If you if you I've not started, played, prepare, yeah, prepare I started playing it again on my uh on my PS5. I've decided I will do these boss, try to do these boss fights by myself. But I'm not suffering <sighs> through the entirety of Elden Ring again. So the rest of this shit, I'm getting princess carried in. Put me back on my feet once we get to the boss. Yeah. Hilarious. Hmm? Hilarious. And that's how Elden Ring is. Uh, unless you are a select few people, like let me solo her. Who's now? Who's now? Who's now in the games? Right. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Perfect Dark. Okay, okay. nice. Yeah. 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 I I thought that was not ever going to come back out. Thought that I thought that was just going to be dead. Uh, oh yeah, and also a lot of these games they just said straight up they were going to be on Game Pass day one. They've been making them guarantees. You yeah. better not have no. You better not have to have no patches neither, bitch. Cause y'all like to play. Right, right, Nico. I better not have no like patches. to play. There shouldn't be no day one patches. Like, really how about we, we we make that we normalize no more day one patches? How about we do that? Complete your fucking game on time, or stop giving us a date too soon. If the developers say they need more fucking time. Give them more fucking time. Right. Yeah, we would definitely rather have a, a polished game than, than than day one patches or or a piece of crap. How like Cyberpunk was when it first dropped. Yeah. Coming from yeah. I'm coming from two Cyberpunk three Cyberpunk fans like. That shit was horrible when it first dropped. Uh, excuse you, I'm a Cyberpunk fan. Uh, <laughs> I know you put some fun, Nico. Yeah, I've been I've been playing was, that on uh, easy mode for like a couple weeks now. I just watched him play Starfield on, on, on this easy mode. mode. That's yeah, what you get called. Easy. <laughs> shout out to shout out to uh, Nico streams on YouTube uh, on, on her yeah. show Easy Mode. Y'all can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I uh, stream. Cyberpunk every Friday night at 9 p.m. So there you go. Make sure y'all subscribe to the uh, channel. The description will be in the bottom. Watch it. Watch it get packed up on Cyberpunk. Oh no! <laughs> you don't know, Brian. No. <laughs> It's the way it's the way you know, uh, like that. Like, <laughs> that is crazy to me. That is wild. Y'all wild for that. We're I'm sorry, nigga. We're we're wild. Y'all wild. <laughs> <laughs> what a Listen, like I said, I play games to enjoy myself, and I, if I want a certain type of gaming in- experience, I am going to do what is necessary to achieve said gaming experience. Right. Uh, right. Mm-hmm. Speaking of okay. gaming experience, they, uh, you know that trailer that you have reviewed, Nico and Zoe? Yeah, yo. So I looked up some more gameplay about that. Supposedly that's supposed to be coming at, like towards the end of this year, but like ah, it's only been in development for like a year. But based on what I've seen that they got, have you seen the gameplay? Yeah, I've seen some of the gameplay because the uh, there was this one young lady on YouTube who um play tested for them, mm-hmm. and you know she had a couple of gripes with it or whatever based on her gameplay or whatever. But like just off looks alone, Sims who. But because I've invested so much money into sales, there's a lot of people who were, who will probably refuse to quit because it's just a lot of fucking time you put into the Sims. Right. However, Envoy off looks alone is just better, you know? Like, mm-hmm. as far as aesthetically, like, what it looks like, 
um there are some like small like missed quality of life things that could be done like as far as like um being able to actually interact with their toddler and the right. baby and all that because like they're also just like it's almost like the first sims game in that way of like you know the baby you couldn't do nothing but like hold feed and like maybe change them or whatever and then like tickle them or like play with them or some shit but like the baby would just appear in a fucking crib <laughs> With, like, <laughs> little little drones around this shit like um that's that was the sims one and for enzoi it's not like that like the baby actually looks like a fucking baby but there's not a whole lot of interaction you can really do like you can literally leave a fucking toddler in the house by themselves which i thought was pretty fucking wild wow <laughs> yeah like and you know, social services won't come or nothing. So that's interesting. <laughs> they also have yeah, pets in there. Go to work. Right. They also have pets in there. Um, like it in the base game, which is a huge game changer because that was an expansion pack that the Sims forced us to buy. A forty dollar expansion pack. Yeah. And then they their stuff packs, like, yo, once I discovered my Bro, you can tell me nothing. I was man. Once I found out to the I black, was able to make black actual black families. Yeah, shout out, yeah, definitely shout out to the minor community. But they yes. definitely got me back into a to, to a few games that, that I had left for dead. Yeah. Oh, I, I actually did finish Starfield, by the way. I just finished it off camera. Um okay. I'm already in New Game Plus, but I what I ending did you it. get? Um, I chose to walk through the unity. Nice. Because, like, I talked to, like, well, technically I went over to check on Sam or whatever, and basically what she told me happened to Sam was he walked through the unity with me. Or he made the same decision I did. Sam, Sam left his daughter? No, Cora went with us. She was on a ship. Okay. I'm about to say. Well, technically, she was on a ship, but like now in this new game, plus it's a little different. Core is actually living downstairs in the basement of the lodge, which is odd. That's a weird. Spot. I haven't seen Sam yet. Um, so odd yet again. Uh, but Core was in the basement, but she haven't ran the Sam yet. Nope. So I wonder if this is a um like I haven't even ran into Lynn. Do you remember Lynn? You meet Lynn first. Um, I haven't ran into like Naomi was there, Sarah was there, Mateo, um, and I think Walter. No, no, no. I don't know if Walter was there, but Walter was there. Um, who was the other one? The black guy. Um, Vladimir. Yeah. Vladimir was still on was on the eye. He wasn't actually down in the lodge anymore. Um and I told him I was starborn off the rip. Because I wasn't mm. gonna lie. You know what I mean? Did, 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 did he believe you? They know I'm not human. Okay. Naomi confirmed. So like that's that's the only reason why everybody's just like, oh okay, you can join constellation, no problem. <laughs> Like that's why that's kind of why they they kind of let me slide. So I don't know. I wanted to bring my whole inventory from my previous gameplay over to the new drawing because not doing that really really bothered me so much because now it's going to force me to have to do everything all over again, and that's not fun. <laughs> I actually watched my ass in that game. <laughs> I really did. I, I I did. I bust ass with all the side missions and every goddamn thing. I think this time I may go over it, work for Ryujin and shit. But what else do we have on the docket today? I was going to talk about the uh, the a better look we got at Assassin's Creed Shadows. Yeah, uh, they showed some amazing. gameplay for that too. When is that coming out? That I one, I 15th. think, is November fifteenth. Yeah, November fifteenth. Okay. Yes. I will have that one. I I have been a, a bet has been made. 50 to play it, 50 to beat it. 
and I better show out. And I was told I gotta show out and show off one of for the fucking samurai parts. That's right. You gotta play a job. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> unless unless you want to go stealth. Yeah, because it's it's they, after seeing the gameplay, I'm like, okay, Yasuke is not a man of stealth. <laughs> And, but see, they, say, they tell you that though, like he, he can't even like four. he can't even tiptoe. Right, I'm he's not. Still, I'm not a man. Loud. I'm not a man of stealth. Okay, it's, that's it's not regular, not conventional stealth. Heavy yeah. stealth. Yeah, when that's I'm what I do. Uh, Ghost of Shushima, he don't go with stealth either. Uh, okay, he, he calls. Noise. He calls everybody out. I yeah. walk. I walk through the front fucking door. Every goddamn time, step the fuck up, bitch. Let's go. <laughs> well, all right. I mean, hey, if that's what gets it done, right? I'm with you, Nico. I step through the front door as well. At the I done poison everybody and made them kill each right. other. Then I step right. through the front. Door. Yeah, no, fuck. Exactly. Fuck we, that. Didn't, we didn't. We didn't took care of all possible variables, yeah. and now y'all asses got to go yeah. down. Right. Yeah, that's that's on y'all. Y'all gonna see me coming, and y'all ain't gonna be able to stop it. I'm still gonna move like a rave through the battlefield. Y'all just gonna watch it and be helpless to stop it. Oh dear. Jeez. Can we talk? Can we talk about uh, Assassin Creed? I know we're about to pass our time. Can we talk about Assassin Creed? Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. How do I feel about Yasuke? Fucking love it. Fucking love cool. it. They just put up some um some new gameplay. Y'all should open that up on YouTube right now. New Assassin's Creed Shadow and first look at open world. They just put that up 44 minutes ago. Okay. Do y'all feel do y'all feel as though Ubisoft did the same did, did, did the right thing by having a, a black main protagonist instead of a Japanese protagonist? They do have a Japanese protagonist. What are you talking about? They have two no. protagonists. No protagonist. Y'all know what I mean. I'm just saying, like the way you worded it. Hey, what the fuck you just? But you know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> the way you worded it. I mean, I mean, I mean, look, he's a samurai historically. Assass- Assassin's Creed has 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 been taking a lot of liberties with real with real people from those times. So Yasuke is no different. Yeah, yeah. true. True. So so, so question. Fuck so, you like, mean? motherfuckers really. Motherfuckers really upset like this. Like we didn't have a movie no, called The Last Ronin, it's, it's, it's where it was a white, white guy. It's the the white males that are from America. Niggas in Japan are excited that they're just going to Japan. All right, they, they got no way. They got no yeah. way. Right. They already know him, so they like, oh, okay, yeah, I see that. That makes sense. Like they're not upset about it at all. They're excited of motherfuckers actually going to Japan. Not to mention the gameplay. Shorty had a ninja strong mm-hmm. hiding in the pond. <laughs> like the fact I mean, that I'm excited. As a as a fan, I'm excited. Because Vikings just, while while Assassin's Creed by Holland was good, it wasn't it. The last two Assassin's games don't have a lot of assassinating. No, and Valhalla wasn't. I I would say Valhalla and uh, not Origins, but the one when you in Greece. Uh, Odyssey. One, Odyssey. You knew one of those were Assassin's Creed games fans. Assassin's Creed fans. Assassin's Creed games. It was great standalone, but neither one was Assassin's Creed. Because I was like, yeah, there's nothing stealthy. Not at all. <laughs> what is a stealthy Viking? <laughs> yeah, yeah, good point. Never heard of one, right? Right. <laughs> All Vikings are stealthy Vikings. They're heavy stealth Vikings. They're heavy. They 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 heavy stealth Vikings. No, they just take no prisoners. It's not the same. No, yeah, that is heavy. Yes, that is heavy stealth. Ain't no one left alive to who can catch me to catch me. <laughs> Either way, got away Scott Cleave. Whether it was actually stealthy or just cleared out the fucking room, Hilarious. how'd you get past it? How'd you how'd you manage this without them setting off the alarms? What alarms? Because no one left to set off the alarm. The fuck? <laughs> but look, that that's been surprising. Surprising presentation by PlayStation. 
Uh, I, it wasn't a surprise bad. to me. Yeah, it, it was surprisingly bad. Yeah, yeah. It was surprisingly <laughs> bad because I was. Ugh. I was. I was hoping. I was hoping Concord was going to be like uh, Star Wars Rebel. Star Wars Rebels. Uh, that it looks, that, good. That, it it looks good. really good. Uh, I, can, I I can't wait to see how that goes. I was um, hoping. Uh, hold on. I was hoping Ubisoft was going to show off either um, Good versus Evil Two. <laughs> That's what I said, Demon. <laughs> or uh, or or a new spinner cell. And 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 I was watching uh IGN and they pointed out like they are, they they sprinkle from Splinter Cell throughout all the games. You find his goggles, you can find stuffies of them, you can find you can play with his skin in, in some games, but not him. Like, what the fuck is the new Splinter Cell at you? So stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Also Bill vs. Evil. Which I'm just gonna give up on that. One. So, other than that, right now I think this summer games has been uh, working up to be really good. I can't wait for uh, what else is going to come down the pipe. Yo, I'm here for Black uh, Myth Wukong. Yeah, that 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 looks amazing too. Those are the yeah, Monster and Wilds in that are the ones I'm here for. The most. What I'm, what I'm here for is Fable. I'm just going to spin in my soapbox and, and call it that one. Fable. Of course, because you're old. <laughs> Fable and uh, Assassin's Creed is the only things I'm, I'm really waiting for. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> But uh, Fable, Assassin's Creed, yeah. listen, Fa- yo, Fable's gonna be great. I'm yeah. so excited for that. So 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 excited. So I'm excited. Say, I will say that I have to get it. One game pass, baby. I know. I know. I'm about to I free know. up some space. God damn. I know. Day one. I've been trying to hold off on getting the X Rock so long. I'm like, oh, fuck it. I gotta get it, man. I gotta get it. Anywho, yeah. I I'm excited for Fable. Shit. I I played the second one. Yeah, the second one, yeah. yeah I think I played two. So this would be the third one, right? Uh I think you've never third. played a Fable game. I think I think the third or fourth. Really? Mm-hmm. You've never played? Missing out. He before y'all came back in, he was he just saying I'm reason why I'm waiting for because I'm old. Yeah, I heard him say that right before I had to refresh. And I was like, no, I don't motherfucker, because I'm not old. What do right. you mean? Right. Y'all old in spirit. <laughs> you might be right about that, actually. I'm not gonna argue that. I, I'm not I'm never gonna beat those allegations. <laughs> <laughs> like he kind of has a point. So so hey. so the, so that's the goal, y'all. We gotta get engine to play Fable, the new Fable. I it's a game where you get to make make yourself the greatest hero or the dirtiest villain. No. I think I, I would love to see him play that though. I yeah, me too. Actually, come across my who, who never played it. I think I think yeah. yeah, and 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 you should go back all the way back to to playing like the first and second as well. I think and Angie would go uh, so 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 left so fast if he yeah. get to. If well, here's the thing. Oh, yeah. It's Demon, if you don't want to buy an Xbox, you don't have to. Just get Game Pass for your PC. Something I've been saying for a minute. Like, oh. if you don't want to buy oh, an Xbox. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Nico. That's exactly what I'm going to do now. Even if you don't want to um, handle that. You know what I mean? Pay for it constantly. Like, I think for just your computer, I think it's like 15 bucks. Yep. For both computer and console it's like 20 bucks and i pay for that because well i have an xbox here so i've been playing this uh game called humanity lately (laughs) humanity you like it yeah 
Yeah, it it's it's a bit of a challenge for sure. Okay. <laughs> um, but you know, uh it's it's interesting. It's but interesting. Uh, it causes me it ha- causes me to have to like work fast. What's it about? Uh yeah, it's kind of hard to describe. Okay. Basically, you're dead, the fuck? and you're a dog, in spirit. Yeah. And basically, you're leading people to the light. And it is your job to make sure they get there. Go still. That's pretty much the gist of the, the game. And you go through different stages, and it's like different like challenges and stuff like that that you have to uh, kind of anticipate. And I guarantee you, the first time you start losing people, it's going to freak you out a little bit. <laughs> well, oh, my God. What do I do? Maybe, or that maybe that's just me. I don't know. Shout out, shout out to the indie developers out there. Yeah. They've been they've been putting it down to like yeah. that uh, that Bean game with the assassin Bean. Yo, I yo. First off, that was a blast for my past. I I ain't never seen Lamasa Lamasa the same thing, so I must not be that old. I ain't never I ain't never heard of it. No, this was like internet games. Random like new grounds type shit. Oh, I remember new grounds. Remember, you remember new grounds, Nico? Yeah, I, 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 I had an account. It, it was a, it was wild, but uh, yeah, um, we all know Teen Titans go. <laughs> but listen, you know, you know. you know. to everyone who's been watching and listening, though, what did you think about what do you think about the game presentation? <laughs> What, what what tickled your fancy the most? What, what are you what most was... excited about coming out with? And how much of your money are you going to be in debt at the end of the year? Evidently <laughs> a lot, because fucking Dragon Age, uh, Fable, Gear 6. Uh, you know what game is... says, you gotta worry about it. You know what game I cared the least about? Indiana Jones. Yeah, like, Why? Like another no, another no, colonizer, thieving colonizer, really? No another this. thieving colonizer game? Is this what we're doing? Right. I no think I also think it's just weird that they chose to do a first person Indiana Jones game. It's a very like, weird, it's a very you know weird choice. Harrison Ford needs money. They put you in a thieving colonizer uh body. I mean, that's what Tomb Raider was about, but but exactly, the even colonizer, yet another one, and uncharted, and uncharted, another Steven colonizer. But like that's all that is. Like, oh, these native people have no idea what they have here. Um, how about you don't steal from them, and they might not try to kill you. Nah, maybe nah, I can't do that. But uh, easy. this has been us t- talking about these summer game fest and. The state of play and Xbox and Ubisoft. Uh, as usual, it's always been a good time. Uh, I'm definitely going to be spending more than I should on video. Oh, wait, I have Game Pass. Never mind. <laughs> He's showing off, y'all. For those of us who don't got Game Pass, Blue Core. Hey, man, you can get it too. It literally Blue- just takes a moment. It's not, it's not an Blue- exclusive club. Blue Core in the comments. <laughs> like- it, it's really not an exclusive club, but you could definitely make it happen. Guess what? Even if you just want to try it out, I would do the, the free trial zone. What about like, what about us PlayStation people? Mm. It's unfortunate for y'all, but console wars aren't a thing anymore, really. True. They got stuff well, that is exclusive to PlayStation. But... Console, you got enough money to spend on. Yeah, and you can always get the shit on Steam. Ah, yes, PC. So you know what I mean. And I, I always encourage. Don't, don't people, mention them, the people people anyway. people, Lord. Lord. Listen, I always encourage people to buy on PC. Why? Because you get to play the game the way you want to play it. And you can mod it too. That's my point. You right. get to play the game the way you want to play it. But anybody who got issues about it, it's your gameplay. All right. I was going to um, call um, any, anything y'all want to announce. 
I gotta I gotta go. I'll be streaming um late night, uh probably Thursday and uh for the creative gene and for uh easy mode. And that's about it. Um this I guess this concludes the episode. This episode. Yeah. Uh engine anything you want to announce? What you got going on? I will be streaming more Monster Hunter Rise to Wilds. I have to just I reminded myself I have to get back and throw more hands at people in Spider Man, so that will be come up and coming. Oh, mm. in Final Shape, I still need to play that. I'm I'm probably gonna stream that, but ooh, that shit's been kicking my ass. Mm. Oof, them niggas hit a little bit harder in this legendary campaign. <laughs> Uh, that's all the time, y'all. Of course, Corey had to dip out. He probably had to go uh, get some money. Yeah. Go get the money. Go get the money. I'm not going to too loud. Okay. Right. Right. I'll tell y'all you. be safe. Love each other. Take care of yourself. Peace out, y'all. Peace out. Bye. <laughs> In the stream, I'm trying to. Okay.